You know, anxiety refers to worry. When you are anxious, you're worried. See? It's a it, state of nervousness. See? You become uh, almost even having panic attacks. When people panic. They're scared. They're troubled, shaky. And the Bible says, look at what Pastor K just read to us. I want to read it to you from the Amplified Version. It's so lovely. He says, do not fret or have any anxiety about anything. What a way to live. He says, don't do it. In other words, don't allow it. And somebody said, oh, but I, I can't help being worried. You can. You can. If you say you can't help being worried when God says don't be worried, you are accusing God of being remiss. You are accusing God of asking you to do something you couldn't do. If God tells you to do anything, it means... You can. He says, don't fret. So you start by declaring, I will not fret. You see, you've got to respond to God. You've got to respond. He says, don't fret. So you say, I will not fret. So he says, don't fret or have any anxiety about anything. You're not going to have anxiety about your son, your daughter, your husband, your wife, your brother, your sister, your house, your car, your dog, your cat. It doesn't mean, I mean your goldfish. You, you, don't be worried about anything. See, uh, uh, look, at, look at what it says here. Oh God, this is beautiful. Do not fret or have any anxiety about anything, but in every circumstance, glory to God, in every every circumstance and in everything by prayer and petition definite requests glory to god definite requests he wants you to make a definite request don't stay there and say oh god just help me oh god just help me you know people pray like that and they expect god to do something and nothing happens and they say well i don't know i called god to help me and didn't do nothing he said to blind butter mouse what do you want me to do for you? The man was crying, Son of David, have mercy on me. Oh God, help me. Oh God, help me. He'll say, what do you want? God wants you to make definite requests. Don't stay there. Oh God, help me. Just help me. Oh God, help me. You can break down all you want to. It's not going to change anything. You think that God's going to be moved by your tears? You're making a mistake. You're making a mistake. He only is moved by your faith. You can cry. Without faith, nothing's going to happen. You can plead and beg. Without faith, nothing is going to happen. You say, Pastor Chris, what do you mean? Hey, listen, you've been crying a long time. Has anything changed? No. You've been begging a long time. Nothing has changed. Chances are they will not change if you continue doing that way. He says, he says, in every circumstance and in everything, by prayer, Petition, prayer and petition, definite requests, definite requests with thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. He says, make your request known. Let God have your thoughts, what you want from him. Make your wants known to God. Make your wants. What do you want? Don't say, help me, help me, help me. What do you want? Make a definite request. In the situation, what's your definite request? Are there a process in your house? What's your definite request? Are there a process in your car? Are they taking your job from you? Are you losing your job? Are you losing your finances? What's your definite request? That's what God's asking you. Don't say, help me, help me, help me. Oh God help me, oh God help me. 
You can't get help that way. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please him. It says, he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him.